Hi planner people. Um, I wanted to do a flip through of my Julio for October. So here we go. Um, this is a Julio Campania in gold. It um, is a medium. So that's the same as a personal. I have an Ollie clip on the front. Inside there's a lot of Coco Daisy. So uh, here we go. There's some paper that came with the Coco Daisy kit. And um, I don't have anything in the zipper pocket. I already checked, so I know there's nothing in there. And then I have this cute little tag that I just added. I just kind of taped on the back a little bow that I had, paper clip bow. And then I have Simon in here, who is awfully cute in his little scarf. And my first little dashboard is a card that says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And then I just, basically added some sparkly dots to this. And those are one of my favorite things to get in the kit. Let me get it up close so you can see. They're just so cool. For a while I was really hoarding them and didn't want to use them, but I've started getting a little bit more um, free and loose with the sparkly dots. So I do have like this name dashboard. And then this is the fly leaf that came with the planner. I have a subscription to the dashboards now, and if I decide I'm not gonna use Medium anymore, I'm gonna cancel that. I'm kind of like on the fence about Medium, but um, all I did was add a little of the washi tape, which didn't really turn out that great because the background is so dark, you can see it through the washi tape, but it's still a very pretty card. I really like the colors in this. I did add some uh, stickers and a little doily that came in the kit to the back just to, to make it look a little better so it's not just plain white. And then I don't know where this acetate came from. I just found this in my stash. So my dividers came from an Instagram seller who actually stopped making these dividers now. So I heard about them on the same day she stopped making them and I snuck my order in just under the wire. So I was lucky to find out about them just in time. I stuck a happy scrappy pocket on there. It's sparkly, I don't know, hopefully you can see that. And then I put the Simon card in the pocket. It says, note to self, add flying to resume. Now I just need to learn how to land. So I keep Simon pretty prominently in the front. Okay, so I've got the sticky notes from an Etsy shop that matches the color theme really well this month uh, with the fall colors. And that brings me to my Coco Daisy insert for October. It has um, a nice little tab to keep everything separate. And it gives you a monthly overview, which is not very easy to see. So I don't think you could actually write anything on here because it's pretty light and pretty tiny, but you could possibly use those um, dots, you know, those kind of um, transparent-y type dots to mark paydays or days off or whatever. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to use these inserts. So um, this may change next month, but I decided to put my goals here for the month. Decrease spending, catch up on homework, de-stash, deep clean, and hang the deck lights. Which brings me to my monthly overview. And I've got this nice tab here. It's from my Etsy shop. I'll try to remember to link that below. And um, I like it because it's clear. I don't have to move the, the page marker in order to see. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this page yet. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to figure that out. On this first page that marks the beginning of the week, I've decided to put my steps there for now. And some people do meal planning on here. I don't really meal plan at all. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So uh, yeah, for now, that's just gonna be steps. And this is still up in the air as far as what I'm gonna do with this. I haven't quite figured out if I wanna put some stuff related to school here, or if I wanna just take some of those little um, pictures with my Canon Ivy, I think it's called. I'm not quite sure. And that uh, brings me to the weekly overview. And 
it's kind of a challenge for me to do uh, horizontal planning, which I've been doing in my weeks, but for some reason it doesn't seem as natural to me as vertical planning. But um, so my style is not really down yet. It's kind of all over the place, but um, I'm using my stickers from the kits on the weekly pages and a little bit of the washi. And here's next week. I'm on vacation this week, so when you look at the step count, don't go, oh my gosh, she doesn't move all day. It's just because I'm on vacation and, you know, I've been spending a lot of time on the couch. I have some cute dangly clips. Let's see, where's the other one? I already took it off. Here we go. Yeah, they're really cute. I've had these forever, so um, I'd have to page through, like, probably hundreds of items on Etsy um, purchases to figure out where they came from. Sorry. Here's uh, this week while I'm on vacation. And then I do have a weekly page marker. And the calendar gets a little more sparse as you go on, simply because I only have written down schedule and meetings that I know are coming up. As things pop up, I'll have room to write them. I've had an awful lot of my meetings canceled for this month for some reason. So there really isn't, even when I get back to work, there's not a lot going on. So um, this brings me to the daily section. And I'm not using the Coco Daisy insert for the daily section, even though it comes with them. Let me show you what they look like. So it says daily to do, and then schedule to do list. You got your hydration down here, call or email, and then notes and ideas. So they're super pretty. I love the way they look, but here's what happened when I filled out 31 days worth of these, my planner was stuffed to the gill. And um, that's because, you know, you're using an entire page, front and back, for one day. So I thought maybe that was going to be a little too much. So I found these daily inserts on Etsy. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do a lot of stickering on these pages. It gets a little overwhelming. So it did help a little bit uh, in my planner to have a day on the front and then a different day on the back. So instead of having 31 separate pages, you know, I have like 15, 16 in here instead for dailies. So um, next dashboard, Autumn Whimsy. I just put this little cork thing on the front of the dashboard and then tape a journal card on the back. This acetate came from Hobby Lobby, which I like because it's got pink metallic on the front and then gold on the back. My next divider has bills and stuff, and then I did put another happy scrappy pocket here. So um, Betty says, you had me at glitter. So I think it's pretty appropriate to put her in a glitter pocket here. So bills and stuff, um, to buy, I have Christmas lights on the list and that's it. I don't anticipate using this as like groceries, you know, stop and get milk after work kind of thing. Cause usually that ends up on a sticky note on the back of my phone. But this would be more like things that I had to make a trip to Lowe's or something like that. So uh, only one thing on the list, amazingly enough. Then this came from Plans to Paper. And I'll just not have you see that because it's ridiculous. And I didn't have room for all my bills, sadly. So what I did was anything that was automatic payment, I didn't even put on here. So I may need to find a different bill tracker. So I like the way this one is though, where you just check it off. I don't wanna, I don't even wanna write the amount on there. I don't care. I mean, I had to pay it no matter what. So it doesn't matter if it's $50 or $500, so. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. So then I got the, I've got this ready for the first half of 2020. Although, like I said, I may have to find something different because I would like to have all, even my automatic payment bills written down. This dashboard I really like because um, it says live your best life and I put some die cuts on here. And then my favorite dots are the orange sparklies. 
and I'm going to make you look at them. Yes, I'm going to make you look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Well, they're not really sparkling that good on camera, are they? Anyway, they're very pretty. And then I just washed the back. This acetate came with the Cocoa Daisy kit. And my next section says write it down. So, I thought it would be appropriate to put my tracker in here. And I just put this tracker in here today. So, obviously, the first week of October is going to be blank. Because I haven't, I haven't tracked anything because, and I haven't done any of these things. I haven't been on time to work this week because I am on vacation. I haven't taken any vitamins, calcium, B12. Um, <laughs> uh, I haven't brought lunch to work. I haven't done any homework and I haven't been to bed by 1030. Matter of fact, I went to bed this morning at about 5 a.m. So uh, that's going to be probably started next week when I go back to work. And then I was kind of considering using this um, insert also from Plans Meet Paper. And you write down your workouts, your breakfast, lunch, dinner. I've really gotten kind of terrible with my eating. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, too much junk food. So I'm considering next week when I go back to work, starting to write down what I'm eating. So next dashboard, don't forget to be awesome. And just some washi. This acetate is from Coco Daisy, but um, a past kit, not this current one. And then I think this needed to go somewhere else. But I don't, I haven't decided where I'm going to put it. Do I want to put it in notes and things? Or do I want to put it in, probably write it down. So it needs to be on the other side of the dashboard. But I'll move it later. So notes and things. Uh, I do have notes and some random phone numbers. And then I need to put some more blank sheets in here as I use this last one up. And then here's a dashboard that says, and all at once summer collapsed into fall. And I did a little weirdness here on the back. I just kind of shredded some paper and glued it on. This, all three of these are from the Coco Daisy kit this month. This acetate with the books on it came from Coco Daisy's last kit, I believe. Projects, I don't have too many projects. Um, right now I'm not writing down my work or my school projects in here. These are just like my personal projects. So video ideas for YouTube coming up. And then one of my projects is to de-stash uh, some of my planners. So I've kind of made, this is a pretty complete list of my planners. And I'm trying to decide, I'm going through and marking the ones that are going to go on the chopping block. So Keep your eyes on the buy, sell, trade if you need a new planner. Changes in the air. And I put some die cuts on the back of this in a little washi tape. And this acetate is from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Ugh, I can't remember. One of those two. Odds and ends. So I haven't been very good about doing the Coco Daisy planner challenge. So... I printed it out this month and I think I could participate in some of these now that I have my planner set up. I've been kind of in a planner funk. So I'm going to try that and this is a tracker for next month, for November. So Coco Daisy is going to start putting these um, on their website available for purchase if you for people like me who don't want to draw their own tracker, like, I think it'd be fun to do steps if I didn't want to write them on my actual calendar or mood tracker or something. So I have till, you know, November to figure that out, what I want to do with that. This actually came from the packaging of something from a Happy Scrappy kit. So I thought that was cute. I have different start times for the different uh, benches in the lab I work in and then I covered this up because it's got phone numbers on it so these are just co-worker phone numbers bus schedule and then vehicle maintenance is something I just put in so <clears throat> this is just a random piece of paper that I got um, in a package from somebody in Japan he had it wrapped all cool and with a little string and a sticker and I thought it was so cute that I decided to keep it I have this nice little pocket. 
So these stencils are from Dear Lily Designs and she has a website now as well as her Etsy shop. And I found the website to have a little bit more available. So um, if you're looking for some cute little stencils to carry, I recommend that um, website. And then this cute little Starbucks card, which doesn't actually work, but um, apparently, I don't know why, in China, they seem to get super cute um, Starbucks things. Or I'll just say in Asia, in Asia they do. I don't know if it's specifically China. They get really cute uh, merchandise. I don't drink coffee, I just like all the cute Starbucks stuff. And you can find a lot of it on eBay. So... Uh, if you like merchandise from Starbucks, check that out because they get really cute things. I don't know why we don't in the United States. This uh, paper just came in the kit this month, so I could uh, just have some scratch paper there. I don't have anything in here. Uh, nothing in the big pocket. I don't remember if I showed you this or not. Mm, I have... This little cute thing that came with an Etsy order. It has this little handwritten note from an Etsy seller. And also I attached a card with my name and address. And I just keep that in the pocket in case I, oh, I got more scratch paper. In case I lose my plan or hopefully someone will return it to me. And for some reason I've become obsessed with $2 bills. So I have one of my $2 bills stuffed in here. So that's pretty much it. I'm not really sure how a medium is gonna work out for me. I was already panicking last night and thinking I needed to sell my medium planners, including this amazing one I got from Vanderspeck um, that I just, the thought of selling it makes me really sad, but if I could wave a magic wand and turn this into a codex for my weeks planner, I'd probably just forget about medium and go back to my weeks, so. It may end up getting sold just so I can order this in a week size. It's a constant struggle for me to figure out what I wanna do for my planner. So this is a little off topic, but the thing I like about my weeks is when I go through it, there's so many little notes that I have written in margins and stuff. You know, like things I've written down, you know, about orders and things. You know, and I carry this whole thing all year, so if I need to go back and look, it's right there. Whereas in here, I'm probably gonna take the majority of these pages out as the month passes and we'll only leave the monthly overview inside. So unless I specifically remember to go back here and write it down in the notes, you know, it's gonna be lost to me, so. That's my struggle. So I know that a lot of you are out there are having the same problem. So I'm trying to get it figured out by 2020. I'm gonna see how it goes with this kit and this planner for October. And then when my Coco Daisy kit comes for November, I'm gonna use it one more month and then maybe make my decision then whether I'm gonna stick with medium or go back to the weeks. So. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts, what you're going to do for 2020, um, if you're having the same struggle, I don't know. I drive myself crazy with this planner stuff. Let me know what you think, and thanks for joining me. Bye!